get back, but uh, that was unfortunate. So now, yeah. Charlie the King decided to go Fox. I was gonna go take a Yo. break. I don't know if I can anymore. Oh, I could, I could do solo if you want. I, yeah, I kind of. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go outside real quick. Yeah, take a break. All right. So uh, that's Javi. Yeah, Lucky too. Enjoy uh, Winter Finals, guys. Enjoy Winter Finals, guys. Cool. So uh, you still here with the smooth sounds of OKO, but um, yeah. So we got uh, CDK versus Dynamite, and CDK is going Wolf. I mean uh, Fox, which is pretty refreshing. Uh, not only because so many people play play Wolf, uh, and he plays Wolf a lot, but uh, just because um, I want to see as many characters as possible. Where the piranha plants at, man? Yeah. Pretty even stocks right now. Uh, Dynamite, I think, luckily, he uh, is a little bit warmed up from the last set, but uh, but CDK uh, cleans up that stock with the up air. <laughs> Dynamite looking to do the same right back to him. Both, both these players just kind of hopping around each other. Uh, nice parry from CDK. And the... Ooh. The down B going to take that stock. And it's pretty... Ooh, Pretty risky doing that, just like in raw neutral. But uh, the spacing was pretty pretty safe. Uh, I guess CDK didn't really know what was happening until it was too late. There to tech chase up tilt. Charlie. Uh, Opting to do a safe. Ooh, yo, hey, that that egg actually came in really, really clutch. Um, kind of, you know, as a fox man, I'm or as a fox player, I'm pretty sure you're really careful about how you buffer out of, you know, things like eggs. <laughs> and so I think Charlie was just, you know, less concerned with mashing and more concerned with just like trying to get out quickly and safely. So he was careful not to like mash I imagine but um yeah we got one stock apiece uh Charlie's not in the lead he's actually uh down like about 32 percent but um you yeah, know this is uh this is that kind of moment where you know a good player like Charlie just does uh want to have a comeback all right we got a full rapid jab coming out Back here, right at the ledge, not connecting, but uh, really well spaced from uh, from Charlie. Oh, and that forward air, killing it, man. That's what I'm saying. When people just run off stage and spike, I love it. I want more of it. Give it to me. Yo, uh, so looking at the looking at the chat right now, Loop Monster says. Fox's up air is actually lame. I'm inclined to agree with you, buddy. Uh, yeah, forward air. Love it. Forward air right at the bottom. And there's no way he could survive that. 94% on him. Yeah, so unlikely lead to, to have happened right now. Dynamite up 1-0 against CDK. Cool tech chase. Great uh, tech away from, from Dynamite. Really good safe options uh, coming out from both players. Um, I mean, from last game, like I've been watching Dynamite play all night. And uh, between the all the sets that I've seen him play, he seems the most comfortable right now. Um, that side B... Uh, gonna cut off some momentum that you know that I might may have been feeling from the last game. Down, down a stock, same percents. But uh, let's see if Dynamite has anything that he could pull off. Uh, CDK really not giving uh, Dynamite any room to breathe. Side B. Ooh, I wonder how how uh, Dynamite DI that because it didn't look like he should have gone that horizontally away, but. Wow. Between the last two stocks, Dynamite was only able to add like 20%. And 
Dynamite's already on his last stock, and I don't think Charlie's very uh, happy about the way the last game went. And he's trying to he's trying to make a statement. He's I love it. Like I love how CDK just goes for those uh, Kamikaze kills, man. You could quote me. I said that earlier, so you know I'm not making it up. Yeah, uh, 103 percent on Dynamite. I like the egg setup, but nothing able to come out from that. And just like that, uh, Charlie's Wolf uh, is able to take game two. And I think he's going to stick to the Wolf. I think the, the Fox pick has been very... Um, it was more like a shout-out to, to you know his previous main, but he's changed. He's become a Wolf now. And it's all good. Uh, Nephalus says, this man trying to get the Twitter clip. Yeah, if you're talking about that side B, definitely. Most definitely. Uh, Tremosa says, not true. CDK has been, said he's been practicing Fox. Well, to clarify, uh, I just meant more like, uh, you know, uh, CDK just seems most comfortable playing as Wolf. So thank you for that clarification. Um, ooh, jab lock. Ooh, that was a great jab uh, reset combo. Not not much uh, resulting from it, though. Uh, CDK gets a grab. Nice parry on the egg. Uh, both players doing a pretty good job of just avoiding that, that final blow. Dash attack going to put CDK in a good situation, uh, throwing dynamite off stage. And I like how... Oh... Oh man, I was just about to say that I like Dynamite's, uh, you know, his offstage, you know, comfortability. He's going, you know, to the ledge and just, you know, assaulting uh, uh, CDK with, with uh, what do you call it? With eggs and just projectiles. Oh, that was interesting. I don't, I don't know why Charlie was even out there. But, um, I mean, Charlie, he's bold. He likes to go get the stock wherever he thinks he can get it. Double forward air. Ooh. Yo, is that like a false combo right here? Forward air to down B to another forward air. Not connecting on the last forward air, but um, clean 54% on Dynamite. Nice grab. Forward air not connecting. Dynamite trying to find his footing, but not doing a very good job. CDK just doing everything in his power to just stay in proximity to, to Dynamite. Great parry, great forward tilt. Yeah, it's 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 really scary seeing uh, Charlie like like in tune with what you're gonna do, because he's not doing anything really like fancy necessarily. He's just being very careful about the the flow chart that is available to Dynamite. Um, you know, he's not overextending. He's not. Uh, Every grab that he goes for, he's getting it. He's not throwing out aerials that are missing. And uh, I think it just has a lot to do with, you know, CDK just, um, you know, just knowing how to handle the momentum. All right, game four. Dynamite uh, down two games. CDK could end this uh, winner's finals, which is this game. So uh, this game's going to mean, uh, mean a lot to Dynamite. He's going to have to really figure out not only how to win this game, but the next game. And I think if he keeps doing stuff like that, he's going to do it. Uh, down air, off stage. Uh, he's dragged down, killed Wolf uh, very early percent. Oh, man. That side beat kills in so many different ways at a pretty decent percent. That was like 103% uh, before the hit. And with that spike hitbox, uh, kill him off the top. Not a lot of moves can do stuff like that at 100. I think Ganon's uh, spike kills like that at 150 or something. At least to say, it was, uh, it's pretty gruesome, uh, it's pretty grimy 
how uh, how uh, CDK is throwing these these side bees. Um, he actually almost got the kill right now with it. Um, all right. So I don't know if anyone noticed it, but um, CDK when he was just at the ledge, he jumped onto the stage and air dodged. But it wasn't a directional air dodge. And I just like to remind people that directional air dodges have like 130 frames of lag. And the invincibility or the invulnerable frames become active like around frame 30 and like around frame 60. With a non-directional air dodge, you have 50 frames or 60 frames. And the invulnerability frames come out frame 20-ish and uh, go away frame 50-ish. So it's like you get double the invulnerability and half the lag if you do a non-directional air dodge with a jump instead of a directional air dodge. So, um, yeah. If you start using that, just know who taught to you. Anyways, long tangent over. But, uh, yeah, 182% on CDK uh, on his second stock. Still not giving that one up. Dynamite uh, having a real hard time, like not just like knowing what to do, but you know he just got like this this stray hit of, of back air, which auto canceled, and in any other situation he would have probably followed it up, but I think he's playing a little a little safe right now, and he, ooh. I mean that recovery was was a good option. I mean I, I mean it wasn't obviously because he died, but you know. Um, when you're forced to that kind of recovery as, as Wolf, I think uh, CDK was just more like trying to figure out, like, ah, can I make this back? Oh, no, I can't. All right, whatever. Still got a stock. We got the JV2 on Dynamite and takes the set. And now CDK is sitting in uh, Grand Finals where uh, Dynamite, I think he's in Loser's Finals. And I think right now, who's up next? Uh, um, I think it's Marcos versus 